To change settings in the pen software, the first thing that we need to do is go into the settings icon on your toolbar. Here we see we have a list of many different options available to us. One of the first things that we can do is set the pen software to either touch pen only or both touch pen and finger. Both touch pen and finger allows you the flexibility to use the pen that comes with the pen software or your hand. Touch pen only would only allow you to interact with the board using the touch pen that comes with the software. The next thing that we have is to show the pen cursor or not. Some people choose to leave this, some people choose to, to remove it out of the settings. If I leave the pen cursor, that means that when I select a pen to be used, the pen cursor will appear on the system. If I go back into my settings and I deselect show pen cursor, choose apply and then OK, When I select one of the pens to use, my pen cursor is now gone. Showing the pen cursor or not showing the pen cursor is simply preference. The next thing that we have is to show grid lines as you see them across the board right now or to not show grid lines, which would essentially resemble a traditional whiteboard. So when I deselect show grid lines, again, apply and OK, my grid lines are now gone. When I select sheet list in the lower left hand corner, if I choose to show the grid lines or not show the grid lines, that change takes place across every sheet that is involved with this document. The next thing I can do by going into the settings tab is to choose the way I want my toolbar to appear on the screen. I have the option to make the toolbar floating, which would enable me to move the toolbar around the screen wherever I see fit, or I can choose to have that toolbar docked. What you see when you select docked is that you now are enabled. What you see when the, the next available feature once you select dock toolbar is the icon size, large or small. When I have a floating toolbar, I am restricted to the smaller size. So that option to change the icon size is not illuminated. If I go back to docked and I select large, once I press apply, the system is going to give you a message that the board size is going to change. That's okay. You want to allow that to happen to accommodate the new size of the toolbar. So you select okay to back out of here. And now I have my dock toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen with my large icons. The opposite of that would be what we had when we first came in. So if I go back into Customize Toolbar and I choose Floating and Apply, again, my board side is going to change. I'm going to have my smaller icons. And now I can move this toolbar anywhere I want across the screen so that it is, so that it's not impeding any images.